But hey everybody, um, I am going to do this look because somebody on my Facebook wanted me to. Um, she wanted it because I think she's going to do a dance, like homecoming or something, I forgot what she said. But um, she's wearing a red dress with silver heels, so that's why it's like this. Um, but if you like this look, it could be worn for Christmas too, this would be really pretty for Christmas. But if you like this and want to wear it out anywhere, if you have a red dress or even like a silver dress, I don't know. Or if you have a black one and you want to look all pretty, I don't know. It would be a good look. And it kind of goes with Christmas with me because my eyes are green. So I got green and red already. But I'm going to get started. So if you like, keep on watching and I will get to it. What you will need to do first is get a white um, I'm using Wet n Wild. I can't even tell because this thing is so worn out and I've used it so much, but it looks like this on the inside. Um, you just need the white. I really like the white from here. I'm going to be very sad when it runs out, but you need the white and you want to cover the whole like face of your eyes. You just want to cover pretty much the whole base of your eye and kind of up on your brow bones. You want to get more on the inner corner of your eye because that will be like the lightest part and you'll have the most white there. And then you want to take the gray or any kind of like silvery gray that you have and just go over like the middle of your eye. It kind of does make a difference. And then you'll go over it with white on the, over here. So you can pretty much tell. And then what you'll want to get is tape. And you'll just want a tiny little piece. You just need it so you can go right here if you got Get your like hair out of the way if you think you got any. That'll get in the way. Um, you'll want to tape it like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but like right on. So basically what I was saying before my camera died um, was you basically just need the tape to be at like the ending of your eyelid. So that way it'll catch it over here and it'll be pretty crisp. As crisp as you can get it. Um, you can go over the white again if you really want to, but I'm not too affected by it, so I'm not going to. Um, and then what you want to do is get a silver eyeliner. This one's from Jordana. Um, and you just want to take it to the, uh, I'd say almost to the middle of your eye. Like about there. You can take it up a little bit. It just adds like an eyeliner look to it because on the bottom you'll be using red anyways. So um, yeah, the only kind of black you're using is for your top eyeliner and your mascara will kind of get on your eye. So. And then and for um, your red, I'm using this eyeshadow palette I always use, 120 color palette, um, it's BH Cosmetics 2nd edition, and I'm using the reds in here, in this section. Um, I just pretty much mix them, like I just go all over the place with these, um, and then you can just Pretty much blab it like right along the tape because it catches everything so you basically can just be sloppy with it if you really want to. Um. If you really want to, you can leave it like this and chop maybe this part off and just leave it like this and like 
fade it over and blend it over and have like just your whole lid full but I'm just gonna go above and beyond with this and just take it like I did over here and just go down I know I'm really bipolar with like my brushes like sometimes I'll be like yeah brushes and then other times just like me no and then for the bottom eyeliner part I just get a little bit of two red of the colors and I basically just apply it like I do on a bottom eyeliner Okay, so my battery's like dying, so I just went and did the eyeliner, the top eyeliner, and my mascara right now, and stuff. So that pretty much just concludes it, because I was sure everybody knows how to put on top eyeliner and um, mascara. So. All I did was curl my lashes and put on mascara and do top eyeliner and that's it.